got another quick battery test for you. These are 18650s which are sent in via Home Tech. I looked at their 21700s recently. I've got the Work, a pair of those, and they are a higher drain cell with a lower capacity and the life at the other end of the scale, higher capacity and somewhat lower drain. Just like their 21700s that I looked at, these have more detailed information on the wraps. They've included the watts as well as the capacity and the continuous discharge rate. Unusual to see that on batteries. Just a quick look at the spec sheet which we had previously, just to give you an idea of the maximum charging rate and some of the quoted figures with it. On to the discharge capacity test for the work they came in, both of them around about the 2600 milliamp hour mark and on the life they both came in at over 3000 milliamp hours so they're pretty accurate as far as their rating goes. Also did an internal resistance test with the work that comes in around about the 12 milliohms mark. Next up we have the life and that was slightly higher but still within very acceptable range around about 19 to 20 milliohms. They also sent me a couple of chargers. I probably won't do in-depth reviews on these. I will do a quick 60 second review for you right now though. You have a two bay and a four bay with these and both of the chargers are able to detect smaller cells that are inserted into the slots and thus they'll be able to adjust their charging rate. You'll be able to feel a slight bump on these when you push it down on the rails. That's the point where it knows it's a larger cell battery in there and it'll be able to apply a higher charge rate to those. That is a nice feature to see. Some chargers you don't get that. So smaller lithium cells, they'll charge at half an amp and the larger ones can charge at one amp or over. Depends on the charger. These are simple automated chargers. So it's just a case of put them in and fire and forget. So red for charging. And then once it's completed, they'll turn to green. All the cells that I tested on the charger are coming off around 4.19 to 4.2 volts. So that's spot on exactly what we're looking for. A few differences between them, the 2 bay which accepts the micro USB input and the 4 bay is the type C and it also means it can take up to 4 amps input. Both of these will take 21700 cells and the 26650 but the 4 bay will accept the protected 21700s and that's a nice thing to see. So nothing to complain about with this, good results on the battery tests and the chargers are also quite good for simple and basic chargers. Thanks for watching the video, hope it was useful to you and I'll catch you soon.